Let's go come back again. This is the night of this protest, the ninth day, and yet the comments have not done anything. I guess what the rebel group have come out to knock Tinibu out. So the rebel group Afeni Ferre knocks Tinibu for failing to address issues raised by the N by governance protesters in Nigeria. So Afeni Afeni Ferre, the Yoruba social political group, has quoted the president Bola Tinibu led Nigeria government for failing to concretely address the issues raised by the MBA governance protesters during the president's nationwide broadcast last Sunday. The Yoruba group said this is a communique issued by the group at the conclusion of its expanded national executive committee meeting. The, commun the communique signed by the national leader, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, and the national Public publicity secretary, Prince Justice Faloye, emphasized that the identities of those sponsoring the display of foreign flag should be revealed. The group urged the Nigeria government to investigate the deliberate violation of rights, particularly the circumstances surrounding the death of those who died during the protest, and to hold accountable those, including security agents, found culpable in these matters. Afeni Fere has also warned the government from taking the matters with levity hands adding that any evidence of foreign involvement or calls for military intervention in Nigerian political affairs should be met with the full force of the law. Addressing the threat to non-indigenous residing in certain parts of the country, Afeni Fere stated, Government at all levels should take immediate action against threats to any group in any part of the country, thoroughly investigate this incident and decisively deal with those found responsible, given the implications for the security, unity, and corporate existence of Nigeria. Afeni Fede reiterated the right of every Nigerian citizen to reside in any part of the country, saying Nigerians are widely dispersed across every state and geopolitical zone, irrespective of their ethnic identities. Commenting on President Bola Tinibu's address to the nation on the hunger protest, the group expressed disappointment that Tinibu failed to, raise, to rise to the occasion in statesmanship particularly with his hypocritical warning against those fanning the flames of ethnic disunity, a tactic often employed by some of his advisors and spokespersons. Furthermore, he failed to concretely address the existential issues raised by the protesters. The group criticized the government and its agents for responding to the protests with threats and intimidation of the organizers, mocking, mocking reverend traditional institutions and exploiting ethnic and religious divisions. Afeni Ferre urged President Tinibu to view the nationwide protest, the diversity of participation and the outcome in different regions as a clear mandate for restructuring the Nigerian Federation. They called for immediate initiation of a reversible mechanism to achieve true federalism as a means to ensure unity, peace, 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 peace peace, coexistence, and development in a nation where no individual or group is oppressed. The group also praised those security agents who professionally ensure that the civil treatment of demonstrators and protesters from attacks by apparent hired gags. Afeni Ferre strongly condemned the display of foreign flags and interest in Nigerian spirit domestic matters and the suspicious calls for military intervention in the nation political affairs. They made it clear that never again will the military be tolerated in the politics and governance of Nigeria. The group also criticized the statement attributed to agents of the federal government, suggesting that the refined petroleum products from the Dangote refinery are inferior to those imported from abroad. Such statements without proposing solutions are treasonous especially in Nigeria's current state of economic and political emergency, as they serve personal and foreign interests. Afeni Ferre also urged the government to address issues affecting our crude oil production and revenues by providing more security, accurately metering oil production and curbing corruption. A country that's hungry, that is hungry, that is bound to be corruption, and that nothing anybody can do about that. And that's what we are expressing right now in Nigeria, corruption because there is hunger. And the government are not even doing anything about it. You could imagine Timbuk coming out on Sunday to address the citizens with threats, saying that 
anybody that, that is trying to cause disunity in Nigeria, you will totally dealt with. You could imagine a in a country where people are hungry, you are coming out to give them threats. I don't think that's actually the best way to go. Let, let me know. I like you guys watch my next video and any of you in the comment section as I keep you guys updated about this issue or protest. Remember today is the day nine. I'll see you guys in the day ten and I'll keep you guys updated. See you guys.